Hey everybody, in the second episode of Tent vs. Hammock, setting up in the rain, we're going to look at the hammock. In the first episode, we looked at the tent, the three different ways to set it up, and even to take it down, and the challenges and the struggle trying to stay dry. Now with the hammock system, it is so easy, simple, and quick to set up while keeping nice and dry. Now before we look at the hammock system to see how it performs in the rain, we first need to look at the difference between the tent and the hammock, the characteristics. Now the tent, some of them are made of one piece material like Dyneema that's very lightweight, but most of the tents are made out of a material or fabric that's nylon with a mesh screen that is sewn on the sides and the top for great ventilation. Now because of the mesh material on the side and the top, the tent will have a second part to it and it's called the fly, which is basically a nylon tarp that covers the tent to protect it from the wind and mostly the rain. Now the hammock is made of some type of grid stop nylon material that is suspended between two anchor points like trees with straps or some type of cordage, which is basically the same principle as a tent, which has poles to hold it up or suspend it. With the hammock being out in the open, it also will need protection from the rain and the wind. So the hammock system will have a second part to it, which is a small tarp. It is held over the hammock by some type of cordage called the ridge line. It is basically the same concept as a fly over the tent. So this is what makes up the two parts of the hammock and the tent system. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because some people are gonna say, hey, Marine, there's a fourth way to set up the tent in the rain. I can just set up a tarp and then take my tent and set it up underneath the tarp to keep it dry while it's raining. And after you set it up, you just pick it up and move it to a flat or level location that is hopefully on high ground. But you have to remember, this series is about tent versus hammock. If I was to bring a tarp with a tent system, that would be called an extra piece of gear, a luxury item, some would say. But when it comes to a hammock system and a tent system, the hammock has a tarp like the tent has a fly. They both go together with each other, unless the tent doesn't have a fly. But when I tent camped over the years, I always brought a lightweight tarp. And one of the reasons we'll see at the end of this episode. Like the tent, we're gonna set up a scenario where we've been hiking all day. We're gonna to come to camp and set it up, the hammock system. The first thing I try to do is to take the tarp that is stored outside the pack underneath the waterproof pack cover without having to take the pack off. Wrap the ridge line around the tree. Then take the tarp out of the stuff sack. And connect it to the ridge line. I like to store my tarp in a snakeskin, which makes it easier to set up and take down, especially in the wind. Then connect the other end to the tree. I always like to pitch the tarp at head level. Then you slide the snakeskin down and off the tarp. To let the tarp unroll. Now stake down the four corners.
Now I got a dry tarp to go underneath. I can unpack, I can get my wet clothes off, I can set up the hammock. I'm now in a dry shelter, standing up. Now there's basically three ways to pitch the tarp for the hammock. The first is to pitch it as low as you can for maximum protection from the rain and the wind. But a major con for this way is that you have to stoop over as you enter and exit underneath the tarp. But most people when starting out will set the tarp in a traditional A-frame shape or style which is called center mode. Now my favorite way to pitch the tarp is called porch mode. The back end is pitched low to block the wind and the front end is pitched high either with hiking poles or you can go into the woods and find a long stick, cut it to size, and you may have to carve a point on one end to fit it in the D-ring. Being pitched high with the front end elevated, you can sit back or wake up to a great view. When a thunderstorm is about to move in, just remove the sticks or the poles for storm mode. Some tarps will come with doors to block the rain and the wind from all around. There's nothing worse than tent camping, setting up and taking down when it's raining hard and it starts flooding, especially in the mud. But with a hammock, you're suspended over the water in the mud nice and dry. Now that I got the tarp set up, I'm nice and dry. It's dry underneath here. I'm not going to get wet, except for I have to set up my hammock strap. So I'll set up the hammock straps first, and then I'll take all my wet clothing off the rain jacket, and then I'll set up the hammock and then take off my rain pants, because I can sit in a hammock and make it a lot easier. I didn't bring any camp shoes, so I got to put the boots back on. So this is how I do it. Now I'm going to take off my rain jacket because it's dripping wet. I don't want it to drip on the hammock. Oh man, I, this rain jacket is soaked. And I'll take my rain pants off as soon as I set up the hammock. When setting up the hammock in the tent on those windy days, the hammock and the tarp are connected to a solid anchor point. But if you don't stake the tent down first, no, no, even if you're no, gonna move no. it, this may happen no. to you. No. All right. Get this wet jacket off. Having a hammock ridge line or suspension, now you have a line to hang your wet clothes. But in the tent. But another problem is now I have all this wet clothes, my rain jacket, rain pants, my boots. I'll keep that out in this vestibule. There's no place in here. I'd want to put it in here because it's wet. But the only problem is there's no place to let it dry. So I'll hang this up to dry. So with the hammock, what you do is you take this fabric, you fold it in half, and this makes a really nice flat chair. 
Now that you have converted your hammock into a comfortable chair with your feet flat on the ground, you couldn't ask for a better chair to sit on as you cook your food or to make coffee or hot chocolate. Now if I was in the tent and I was cooking my food, I'd have this out in a vestibule. Got my stove so I can cook my dinner. And I think I'll cook it right over here in this vestibule. And keep it open a little bit to get ventilation because you have to have ventilation. And after I'm done eating, I can pull this back. And just sit here and lounge. And I got a great view here, you guys. And I'm under a dry tarp. And man, it's a beautiful scene. The rain isn't bothering me. I got great ventilation. I got ventilation for cooking. And this is really quite nice. I can sit here in the rain and really enjoy it. Now, if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night with a tent, if it's raining hard, you now have to put on a wet rain jacket and to crawl on your hands and knees on the wet and maybe muddy ground to get out. But with a hammock, all you have to do is swing your legs over into your shoes, stand up, and walk to the edge of the tarp to do your business under a rain-free area. Now, if there's other people that came with me that had tents, they wouldn't be in their tent right now. They would be underneath here cooking their food. And you guys, next year, I'll see those people with a hammock system. But the only thing that's sad, then, I have no one to come visit me. They'll have their own little dry little nest. And I'm not saying, you guys, that the tent is so inferior to the hammock system. There's many cases where, look at it in the desert, this would do no good in a desert. So there's times when a hammock is great, like rain and for comfort, or if you're in the desert, of course, or flat land where there's no trees or above the tree line, then a tent really rules. Now these are just tools for the trade again. Whatever works best is what you use. So use what works best for you. Another thing that's really great about a hammock is the takedown. Now I woke up, it's still raining, and I want to pack away my gear without any of it getting wet. With a hammock, you can pretty much pack everything dry. You don't have to worry about anything getting wet. So I'm underneath this dry tarp. I got everything packed in here. All I have left is the hammock and the tarp, and I'm gonna take that down. So I'm gonna take the hammock down, and the last thing I'm going to take down is this tarp. And I'm going to be underneath this tarp the whole time, nice and dry. Then I'll put on my rain jacket. Then I'll take the tarp down, pack it in the outside pocket, and off I go. That simple and easy to take down, and you can be nice and dry. That's another reason why I love this hammock system. But I'm going to take the hammock down. Put the wet hammock strap in the outside pocket. Okay, now all I have to do is put on my rain jacket and take down the tarp and I'm ready to go. Check the tarp to get as much water off as possible. And I'll just slide the snake skin back over the tarp. Now I got my tarp. I'm gonna stuff that in the side pocket on the outside. With everything packed, now it's time to get back on that trail.
After hiking all morning, you're ready to stop and just to relax for a bit and to eat today's lunch. But if it has been raining all morning and there's no sign of it stopping, having a tarp with the hammock system, you just find a nice spot and pull out the tarp and quickly set it up to get out of the rain under a dry area for a few minutes. When you're finished with your lunch, you just quickly take down the tarp and you are ready to continue the day's hike. This is another great reason to have a tarp with you. Now, I hope you found this episode to be helpful and insightful. You guys, I try not to be biased. I try to give you the truth as far as information, which one works better in different situations and conditions. And for me, if I had a choice between a hammock and a tent, if all is the same, I'm always gonna grab the hammock. And the main reason is because of comfort and then if, there's always a chance it's gonna rain. But in our next episode, we're gonna look at, people wanna know how fast it takes to set up a tent and a hammock, which one is faster? And we're gonna look at that and also which one is lighter and more packable. So don't miss it. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching and God bless. Boy, I wish I had a hammock.